good time. We've decided to play that because we've now been piped into the Pleasance Theatre in London and there's nothing that a comedy show needs 16 hours in than a little bit of Californian pop. Oh, oh, there's a little ripple. Oh, that's more like it. Uh, multi-award winning comedian Mark Watson, uh, the, who's appeared on Live at the Apollo, 8 out of 10 Cats, BBC Two's Nevermind the Buzzcocks. He is legendary for his endurance shows. He is a dear, dear friend of the show. He is now in his 16th hour of his 25-hour comedy marathon. Mark, how are you, fella? I am pretty well, Patrick. How are you? Uh, we, we are good. We are wondering um, what state are the audience in? How many of the audience have remained with you right the way through? We still have 130. Come on! Yeah, we've got, uh, I would say it's about 130 people that have been here for the whole time and a few that have come and gone as well. And they are, they've been through their ups and downs, but we're now... <laughs> Collectively happy, I'd say. Have you had many visitors over the course of the, the 16 hours? Have we ever? <laughs> uh, yes, we have. Although the actual uh, in the flesh visitors have been dwarfed by the phone calls I've taken. Bob Geldof called. Really? Gary Lineker. I say called. We hassled them. But, um, oh, we had, the, we had Matt Smith, who was Doctor Who. I fielded a series of unlikely sounding phone calls, which turned out to be the real people, basically. It's been exciting. Um, our listeners have been sending in jokes that they actually felt that you may need a little bit of material. I'm not sure whether we should read these out. What do we think? Well, you're a comic, Paddy, so you can kind of judge this, I think. I would say the show's been a bit light on jokes so far, though, so we would certainly welcome their efforts. OK, here we go. From the Radio 2 listeners. Uh, this is from uh, Anthony in County Durham. Mark, I bought a dog from a blacksmith. When I got home, it made a bolt for the gate. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. That's a good doggy pun. That, that, that's, that's quite good. Another one here from Beth. Uh, she is an electron microscopist. This should be a laugh riot. Here we go. She says, Mark, what's invisible and smells of bananas? Monkey burp. Beth, what is it? Monkey burp. Oh, it was monkey burps in the end. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so one all, I think, man. Se secret. Um, <laughs> okay, I think, we're I think we may go for the extra time victory with this one. Th this is from Jacob. He says, Mark, there's been an explosion at a French cheese factory. All that's been left is debris. debris. <laughs> Two ones to somebody, definitely. Oh! Um, that's really helpful. I think, that, I think that just about got over the line. Yeah, thanks, Patrick. <laughs> we appreciated those. So what time were you on till? Well, I think midnight, yeah. And it's now about, what, half past two or something? We've got about another nine and a half hours or something like that, I think. And, and have you any idea what's coming up or are people just going to surprise you and, and bring stuff to you? Jennifer Saunders is on her way here. Someone is about to break the world busking record. Lauren Laverne. Lauren Laverne. We've, we've got visitors planned, but we, there's also a, quite a lot of very peculiar stuff that I don't know about yet. So is it going to be... We've got things planned, but basically we're, we're in for another nine or so hours of total chaos, I think. OK, well, look, if you need uh, any more material, just, just give us a shout back and the listeners can, can keep them coming your way. Extraordinary. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Have a good one, Mark. Have a good one, Mark. Oh, we will. Thank you, Patrick. OK, there we go. What a legend. What a legend. 16 hours on stage. 